Hello and welcome to Vandian School. Today we want to share our pastoral journey with you. I became head teacher in 2009. Uh, we had 1,350 students at the time and it seemed to me that that was quite a big school. I walked through the corridors and I was looking at some of the students thinking, I wonder if anyone knows that wee soul? And that got me thinking about how we could reshape and how we could better serve the needs. We used Dunbar's number as a guide, Dunbar's number being um, 150, uh, the maximum number of people you can engage with and, and have a relationship with. Um, and we did the maths and that split us into four schools. We've expanded this year um, and have introduced a fifth school. Because of the four school system or five school system now, the waiting times when you need help it's non-existent you know you don't have to wait for the school to deal with many and other students you can go to your school base and talk to them. The way the base system works at Vandine School is that there is a head of that school a deputy head and a school leader and school leaders are a non-teaching role which means we're available at all times. We are trusted adults that children can come to to share any worries or concerns that they might have and this can be a range of things from being lost, feeling anxious or any life events that have happened that have impacted on them. We do that by listening to them, by connecting with their families at home and hoping to build up long-term ongoing relationships. The great thing about Von Dean, they also understand not everyone feels confident talking face to face with a teacher and that's why a few years ago they introduced the worried button which is an online thing whenever you log in it comes up and you can press that button and fill out a form and get help through that. Another wonderful thing Vandeen does is really listen to its students. So for example, when we were surrounded by so much confusion in terms of COVID and our exams, we asked the SLT for clarification on how our futures would eventually uphold. Within a day, they got back to us and set up a Zoom meeting, which really helped us and it showed how important they take us and the points we made. My role as a tutor has changed quite considerably over the last few years. Now it's much more geared towards being really observant for things like their mental well-being. The toolkit is essentially a document that every form tutor has. The toolkit helps with thinking about their future and helping them in terms of motivation mm. and ensuring that they are prepared for what might be a stressful year. So one thing I've been really conscious about with my classes is the kind of language I use, making sure that I'm not projecting anxiety onto them uh, and just using really positive terms. We have reflective practice at Barn Dean, which enables us to speak to the school counsellor, which can be really helpful because we deal with some quite complex issues within our roles. My tutor group have experienced a really traumatic crisis. I've been so fortunate to have a team around me to support the students. We can access support from other places and other people and one way to do that is we have a triage meeting within school and where we can have lots of different people come in. There's primary mental health workers, there's the educational psychologist, there's the school counsellor. We've done things such as box breathing and had great chats with the Samaritans who came in to do sessions with us. And it's also great doing this because we've been given techniques we can also use at home in order to support our well-being, not just within the school. School isn't just a place for learning and lessons and exams, it's also where you grow and that's why pastoral care is so important at Van Dien. Right from the beginning, in the open day, I felt that Van Dien put on equal emphasis between the academic side and the children's welfare. From the perspective of the governing body, all of these activities and support services have assured governors that the school are putting the well-being of students right at the centre of the school improvement plan. Well-being is really important to me as a parent. We were invited to a community well-being evening based around anxiety leading up to exams and to have those experts come in and talk to the parents was really useful. I've been overwhelmed by how great Van Dien has been at supporting our family really, but especially you. If I've had to get hold of you during the day for any reason, I found that really easy. And I've also found that uh, it's been quite easy for them to get hold of me. Sometimes yeah. I've known things about your day before you've told me because school <laughs> have got in touch yeah. with me first. And there's also lots of great things that students can do beyond the classroom, like Forest School, which is delivered right here 
in the school grounds. Uh, we've got the goats and rabbits who are famous on Twitter. If I had to sum up Rondine in three words, I'd have to say it's helpful, encouraging and supportive. Being part of the five smaller school system makes you feel like you're part of a community, a smaller community that you can really connect with. I honestly feel like the school knows my children because of those small schools. The environment here is warm and welcoming and if I use one word to sum up my time here it would be kindness and that's what I've learned and that's what I've seen every day at the school and I couldn't imagine being at a different school.